Hello, my lovely subbies. I am back with another nail session. I have missed you guys. I hope you guys miss me too. I definitely needed to take a small break and I was very happy about that. I enjoyed myself. <laughs> I hope everyone is having a really great summer. Um, I've been enjoying the weather. The heat is my best friend, y'all. I love the heat, especially with the rain. It was just such a great combo. The humidity, mm, so so. If you got a good sp bug spray, it wasn't that bad. And I've been taking cold showers, so that definitely helps with the humidity. <laughs> so, something a little bit different than I usually do in most of my videos. I usually use a carbide bit to remove the product. But I found these zebra bands in my drawer and I just wanted to use them up because they're just sitting there. So, yeah. Um, the only thing is with this coarse sandy man, I had to bump it up to like 40,000 RPMs, y'all. Because usually I do 30,000. No, nah, this sucker was strong. It was vibrating my client's nails. So I had to bump it up higher. But yeah, um, I had to be very, very careful because since it is at a higher speed and this is a sand band, I want to be careful that I'm not burning my client. So I'm constantly moving over the entirety of the nail. I do not want to stay in one spot because she will feel the burn. So yeah, so I'm going to start removing everything and then I'm going to go in with my 180 sand band, start etching the nail, removing some of the excess cuticle, then go in with my cuticle bit and remove all the excess cuticle in the nooks and crannies and then also lift the, the dead skin, the excess dead skin that is attached to the epinicium. It's much easier for me to nip. So yes, um. Without further ado, I'm going to let you guys enjoy the rest of this video and I will jump back in when the art part begins.
Okay guys, so here I messed up big time and I didn't notice of course until after I was putting top coat. So I should have applied white French tips as well as like a white flame and a white outline. I should have did the entire template white uh, because I had to go back in with two with a second coat anyway. So it would have just made more sense for me to apply white so that way the glow, the neon glow polishes can pop even more you know so i mean overall it came out really cute but it did not give its best because i did not put a white base so definitely keep that in mind you guys don't do what i did um but you know trial and error i will know for next time and then also too i was using the wrong brush y'all like i was using the seven millimeter i, I should have been using the nine really it would have made everything much faster and easier for me and then i had coffee Y'all, I was just, that's what happens when I take a break. I'm just, it's like, I'm all of a sudden a beginner again. <laughs> but yeah, let me know if you can relate to that. But anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys liked the result. I really did. It came out cute. Um, and the glow part was not at its best because the light was shining through, through my window. But you guys, it is just absolutely so cute. And I love the result so until next time guys i will be back with another video bye